Hi guys, welcome back to Figure Review. And in this video, I'm gonna reviewing this Max Factory Figma Kirito GGO version from Sword Art Online 2. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right to it. This is front of the box. You can see Kirito himself and his accessories as well. And side of the box show the poses that we can use for him same like the top of the box and the bottom the back of the box gives us a lot of information about his pose that we can use okay so let's open this up and see what we get in here okay so let's open this up traditional way like always we get the backdrop for Figma DI stage the color is purple yeah, it looks nice but this is pointless like a waste. This is Kirito and his accessories. We get the Kirito himself with this confident smile, face split. We get his alternate dynamic hair. We get his photon sword. We get this the effect of the sword and the attachment. We get his 5 7 and its explosion part. And we get two alternate faces the scared one and this attacking face. And the usual stuff instruction manual, both in Japanese and English language. The Figma stand. The Figma base and we get seven hands and yeah I don't know why they separate these two from the hand rack we get the Figma stand extender and we get the extra join with the color of black to be honest Kirito is a really amazing figure maybe it's simple design much similar like in his sword of online one Max Factory puts much attention for its detail this purple game but I don't know what the hell is this for I kind of forget what is this purpose in the anime it looks amazing from the belt from the this long coat or trench coat i don't know in this coat maybe yeah i don't know and there's a holster just like seen on you can put his 57 the striping the, the gray striping is also great what i like the most is maybe his his boots i guess <laughs> the detail of the boots yeah it gets uh, the strap on his boots and yeah it's, it's so detailed his hair some parts are are hard as rock <laughs> and this is made by soft plastic materials the back this is really a thin layer of the soft plastic material so you yeah, maybe you can pull it off like that not recommended <laughs> I guess so be careful and the flow with the hair it's so amazing they put much detail of his hair this is Kirito's normal face the confident smile face to change it it's simple just pull the hair piece pull out the face plate and just insert the face that you want to use and insert back the hair pieces just like that and we get Kirito's anger face and you can change to Kirito's dynamic hair and also last but not least Kirito's pathetic face okay let's begin with the articulation from head to toe begin with the head first to back um not much because it's kind of restricted because of his hair to down Yes, this is pretty good. And also, the hair also has its own joint. Maybe the purpose of this soft material to not to block the hair movement. So yeah, this is really useful. <laughs> For the hand, let's performing T. Nice. Can she do the 360? Yes, he can. Let's bend the elbow. Mm, yeah, not bad. And his hand, yes, it can rotate 360 as well from side to side front and to the back mm, yeah not much can she do 360 of course she can do 360 so the back of the coat has its own joint for more dynamic pose the kick mm, yeah not bad this is nice bend of the knee and for the leg up down can it tilt nope it, it can't be tilt can he do the split well obviously nope let's move on to his hands this is for holding the photon sword to open palm hands these hands are for holding the 57 and this one i don't know about this one choking hand this is the photon sword you can pull it out gently just like that this is for the the effect parts just insert and insert this the purple effect just slip this and yeah i prefer this material because it's 
it's light it doesn't make hand to hold the the heavy parts oh yeah and you can put this on on his belt maybe i will not put this so oftenly because it can break the part of the belt to hold the handle this is uh, Kirito's 57 and this is the explosion part just insert it like this and you can insert the 57 into his holster like this just insert the gun into his holster let's change the hand for the photon sword maybe the best thing you remove this part first and insert this but it's kind of loose i guess it doesn't grip very good let's put it back just like this to remove the hands yeah it's pretty simple like always just pull it up and push the new hand just like this you got kirito is holding the photon sword and the 57 the conclusion is this is really an amazing Figma. He gets a lot of accessories, the detail of his coat, the color of the black mate, the chest plate has a, a light gray color, and the detail of the belt of course with this purple thing, and I don't know what the hell is this. <laughs> the holster, the hair of course, especially the boots, <laughs> with the two straps on the boots, it looks amazing. He has a lot of articulation, especially in the hair and the coat, the detail of the 57, also amazing. I don't know what else to say. He's amazing, even though he has a simple design, but with an amazing details from head to toe. That's it for the review of Max Factory Figma Kirito GGO version from Sword Art Online 2. If you are a fan of Sword Art Online or you love Kirito, buy him. He's worth it. All of your money. Thanks for watching. What do you guys think about this Kirito GGO version? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Like this video if you like it. Dislike this video if you don't like it. It's okay. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome figure review. See you guys next time. Bye.